Do you remember that style of denim jeans from the 1980s? Keep watching. Hello, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day as ever. Summary video review. Look at the links below the video and visit the website. You'll find a lot more information about this one. All the other reviews, beginners tips, loads of other information on the website. Thank yous there running across the bottom of the screen. These people have helped out in the last week to keep got a ukulele going with very kind donations. It's the only way I can continue doing this. So my eternal thanks go out to those people. And if you like what you see on the YouTube channel, you can also help me out by hitting that subscribe button down there. And if you hit the bell symbol, you'll get notified about when new stuff comes up. Okay, this one. Uh, it's a brand I've featured several times before. Uh, a German brand who make Far Eastern instruments, also a guitar maker. Um, they've got a dizzying array of, of instruments in their range, a massive range. Sadly, I am yet to find one that has really wowed me, and some have um, really, really disappointed me. And then this one caught my eye just based on the looks. Let's just get into this. This is the Ortega R-U-S-W-B-T-E Tenor. Right. It's a bamboo instrument, part of a series of soprano, concert and tenor. Uh, they also make a natural coloured one uh, with a cutaway and a pickup. But this one is what they call their Stonewash Blue series and uh, certainly is blue. Now I'm going to nail my colours to the mast early on in this review. I think this is one of the ugliest, most hideous looking instruments I think I have ever reviewed. Uh, I get that looks are subjective, but for me, I just abs absolutely hate it. As I said in that introduction, reminds me of those awful jeans from the 1980s. Also makes me think that it's been done by a kid in a primary school with these streaks. Now, I am not against bamboo ukuleles. I've reviewed some before and really like them. I think they work well as a material. I'm not against coloured ukuleles. You know how I raved about that one. Uh, I'm not against blue bamboo ukuleles. The Martin OXK bamboo was a, had a bamboo outer image in, bl in blue, a bit like this. What I object to with this one is just how overdone it is. I mean, it's blue absolutely everywhere, which will come on into the review. Um, I absolutely hate the look of it. You, your views may change. You may have a different opinion. That's absolutely fine. I'd just, I'd be lying if I said any different, but let's move on. Uh, okay, it's made of bamboo. It's solid bamboo. Now, solid bamboo is a bit of a misnomer because bamboo in itself is laminated in thin strips this way, but that is to say it's not a bamboo out of veneer on top of a plywood. It, it's bamboo all the way through. Um, finished, as I say, in this stonewash blue um, with these sort of pale streaks in it. Um, I really don't like it. I think, I think it looks really childlike. Um, as I say, your views may differ, that's absolutely fine. Um, but as I say, they really went to town with the blue. The bridge is made of bamboo, and it's also blue, and it's screwed in place. It's, it's a tie bar style with a straight top plastic saddle. I just think that would look so much better if it was just in a contrasting wood colour. Um, do you agree with me? I don't know, I did, just that's really irritated me. Uh, decoration, <laughs> decoration, look at it. Uh, black edge binding around the top and back, which I think actually works well against the blue. And then my normal pet hate of a uh, laser etch sound hole rosette, which I don't like very much at all. Inside, actually, to be fair, pretty tidy, no mess, thin braces, notched linings. The build feels good, it feels good. The finish is a satin that feels kind of a little underdone it's one thing going for it of course is it's extremely thin so it's not going to be stifling the instrument with a thick paint top but it kind of feels like chalkboard if that makes sense I don't really like the feel of it the neck wood isn't specified um, but they've kind of painted it might be bamboo I can't see it is because I don't think bamboo strips are, are available this thick but they painted it too in this sort of, it, it just looks, it just looks badly done. Uh, it's in three pieces. The joints are pretty obvious at the heel and the headstock. Tapers down to a round, uh, no, not round actually, fairly, uh, semi-round, bit squashed up here, which is a bit of a saving grace because the nut width is a very average, 35 mil and 27 from G to A. The fingerboard is bamboo. And again, it's blue. It's the same blue, and I, 
I really don't like the look of that. <laughs> a bamboo fingerboard? I've got nothing against a bamboo fingerboard and it's kind of nice and smooth, but why did they paint it in this streaky blue? Just looks like it's unfinished. Kind of like that coolness of the only outward facing position markers being three black dots at the 12th. You're not going to lose your way anyway because you've got side dots at the 5th. Uh, 7th, 10th and 12th as well, so that's good news. Uh, the nut is black plastic, the setup is alright. I do rather like the Ortega headstock shape to be fair, I think that's interesting. Asymmetric shape, yet more blue. Uh, the Ortega logo there is a black screen print. Um, yeah, I rather like the look of that, aside from the colour. The tuners, um, a lot of people will be interested in these. These are Ratio uh, Tuner Lely tuners from GraphTech. That is to say they're rear facing, kind of look like friction pegs, but actually have little gears inside them. Um, I've reviewed various instruments with these before. I always say the same thing. They work well, they're nice and smooth and precise, but I think they look like doorknobs. I think they're really ugly. Um, Martin use them now, but I still think they're really ugly. But also, I've seen far too many examples, including one of my own, where the tuner post has snapped, because these tuner posts are plastic. Um, so beware those. It comes with a set of Ortega custom strings, made for them by Aquila, so it's a Aquila uh, gnarl gut. A padded, rudimentary gig bag. And the price, about 155 euros in Europe, because these are very much a European brand, uh, but about 135 quid I picked this one up for in the UK. So it's not a lot of money uh, for the tenor. Uh, not a lot of money at all for solid bom bamboo. And as I say, the build and finish, a bit sort of odd on the finish, but it's neatly done. There's no flaws in it. There's no gaps. There's no problems, seams opening up with the build. It feels nice and solid. Um, it's it's all right, but I just my word, why do you just just do everything in this streaky blue? I mean, if this was a black fingerboard and a black bridge, I think the whole thing would look a million times better. I still don't think I'd like this body finish, but it would look a million times better if they were contrasting, or maybe a maple bridge and maple uh, fingerboard, just something different. But why on earth did they do that on the fingerboard? I really, really don't like it, and I don't like these sort of streaky pale pale stripes in it either. Uh, okay, anyway, it, it's balanced all right. It's not heavy. Um, it's all right. Um, we've got to have a play. You'll see my scores on this one, and I've obviously massively knocked it down on looks because I have to give my opinion. This is my review. Um, if you disagree with me on the looks and think it's lovely, just knock that bit out of my scores and then you'll see what I really think about it. Okay, volume. Excellent. Really, really loud, punchy instrument. Really easy to get some noise out of it. The sustain. Very good too. Good sustain, good volume. Extremely bright. Now I've reviewed a few bamboo instruments before and it's, it's common to the sound of bamboo. Very, very crisp. Very, very bright. Too bright for me. Uh, there's no arguing with the clarity of that. It's a little one trick pony ish, if you see what I mean. There's not a lot of other character there other than that very crisp, bright projection, which aren't complaints. feels a little bit more subdued when picked.
better at strummed than picked. Not an offensive tone at all. Um, some real positives here, actually. I mean, the, as I say, the, the overall build is very good. It plays very well. The volume and the projection is superb. If you like crisp, bright instruments, it's got a really nice tone. If a little bit one trick pony for me, less so on the finger picking, but it's really, it's got a decent score on the sound because it is a decent sound. It's got a decent score on the fit and finish. It's got a decent score on the uh, value for money. It just doesn't get a decent score from me on looks because I think it's making me nauseous. I think it's a real headache of a look. Uh, there we go, subjectivity in reviews. The Ortega, R-U-S-W-B-T-E, stonewash blue bamboo tenor, also available in natural colors and also available in soprano and concert. Uh, I could not live with the looks of this one, um, which is a real shame actually, because I think the sound's not bad uh, for 130 quid. It's a very good bargain as well. Um, I just, I, I, I couldn't look at it every day. <laughs> Funny that, isn't it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching and your ongoing support. I've really looked forward to doing this one because it was such an oddity. Um, thanks for watching. Go very carefully this week. Look after each other. I will see you in a few days' time, hopefully. Uh, maybe a midweek review. Um, certainly a ukulele review coming next weekend. I'll see you all very soon. See you. Bye-bye.